This is one of the most epic fights of all time. In an epic showdown between a man with 800 fights and a legendary UK Muay Thai pioneer, we were given a match with legendary status that no viewer would ever forget. Welcome back to another episode of Striking Breakdowns, where we showcase a legendary showdown between an old school Muay Thai style versus the new school Muay Thai style. This fight had it all, jumping elbows, flying kicks, and incredible kick volleys. Witness the epic action for yourself. Kawachai, a person who claims to have 800 fights, is someone that could have the most fights in combat sports history. I have fighting 728 fights. He borrows his style from the old school Muay Thai techniques, otherwise known as Muay Boran. It's the type of moves that you're likely to see in entertainment shows or movies like Ong Bak. But beyond classical Muay Boran techniques, Tawachai added his own flair to the style, which included showmanship techniques like dusting his leg off and punching himself to egg on the opponent. His jumping spike elbow and jumping attacks are all Muay Boran style techniques that would score very high in the golden era of Muay Thai. However, in the current era of Muay Thai, the style has changed to favour clinching techniques and less footwork. This is a big reason to why Sanchai prefers to fight in international bouts, and why Sama thinks foreigners will surpass Thais in Muay Thai soon. <laughs> His opponent, Damien Trainer, is a UK Muay Thai legend with 80 fights that represents the best of Dutch Muay Thai combined with the best of Thai style Muay Thai. This means Damien can throw elaborate combinations while also having rhythmic power shots. The characteristics of both fighters gave us incredible sequences that are very rare to see in any era of combat sports. I mean, just look at the exchanges between the two fighters. It was pure chess with technical aggression. It was also a fight full of mental and technical warfare. The type of fight that every fan loves to watch. Western fighters are known to have stronger focus on boxing than many Thai fighters. And in this fight, that was certainly true. Usually when a fighter specializes on boxing, they won't be as good in kicking, but that wasn't true for Damien Trainer. Although Tower Chai can be considered technical, he chose flashy wild power shots from both of his power sides. Damien, on the other hand, rarely threw wild shots and stuck with textbook effective strikes. Most of his techniques are thrown with textbook perfection, such as the catch and cross counter. And various punches into low kicks and high kicks. Neither of them were afraid to exchange with each other. The continuous kicking and punching exchanges of this fight showcased how to have a technical brawl. Many fighters of the next generation would do well to learn from this. 
Where Damien really stood out was his counter low kicks, as well as the cross hook into low kick or high kick combos that were inspired by the Dutch greats such as Ramon Deckers and Ernesto Hoost. This heavy punching combination style allows its fighters many scoring opportunities. Tower Chai's flashy techniques didn't score well, but what he did score was several overhands, and the kicking volleys into ducks were absolutely spectacular. Where Tower Chai really stood out though were the right kicks, and you can see how often it landed by just looking at Damien's ribs. But what allowed Damien to clearly win the fight was how he adapted to these right kicks and countered effectively. The rear right kick in the same stance is difficult to land because it's easily caught by the opponent. However, a Thai Superman chaining the rear kick and the rear cross makes the shot likely to stun the opponent if they attempt to kick. Damien was able to understand and read these patterns. Him being able to counter Tower Chai's right kick and Tai Superman is precisely what made the most difference in the fight. Tawa Chai threw it consistently and Damien was able to consistently defend against it. He was even able to turn the kick so that Tawa Chai would swing and miss. He was able to sweep the opponent when the punch did land and many times he threw a right cross or elbow to counter back and effectively outscored his opponent. Whatever his choice of counter was after the leg was caught, he hit them all perfectly. The key to this technique is to fire immediately, or to stay far away from an incoming punch. After the fight, there was some controversy. Tao Chai was mistakenly awarded the win, and then later in the night, Damien was awarded the win. Due to the controversy, they would fight one more time, with Damien dominating the entire bout. Today, Damien is now one of the most celebrated athletes and coaches in Western Muay Thai history. He was one of the only Western fighters to challenge elite Thai fighters, and he's now an esteemed coach who produced many elite fighters in every organization. Tao Chai has the highest fight count we have ever seen, with nearly 800 bouts under his name. He is now coaching and training fighters in Gok Samui, Thailand. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and thank you for keeping the channel alive by watching another episode of Striking Breakdowns.